are so close. So close. <laughs> Damn, dude. That was a good game, too. It hurt. It hurt. Back at it. <laughs> Let's grab this, dude. So many owls in the set. The wise, wise deans. Um, this or we take what? I don't think we take a breach. Emergency sequence is cool. But yeah, I don't think anything's on the level of the Dean in this pack. On the wheel, nothing. I mean, Leech Fanatic or Prophecy. Let's scoop that one up. This card makes that aggressive Silver Cold deck we're talking about, the Pledge, Ma Pledge Mage. Um, I like the Flyer though. We saw kind of Professor Allen, like there's a ton of flying in uh, Silver Coil, so maybe we just scoop that up. Zephyr Boots is a card I came in hot on and played it once. I think I played it in my first draft and then haven't touched a thing, so. Good though. Like, you'll lose to Flyers if you can't interact with them. And a nice way to give your uh, Fractal some evasion. Yeah, so we'll scoop this up. I don't think this comes around, but if it does, happy, happy, joy, joy. Symbology sounds great. We also have Steady Break and Inkling Summoning. And uh, hate passing cards in your color, but I think we take Symbology here. How much do I want? My f yeah, and take Symbology. Like we saw, we. Missed on the early game stuff, so I think take Symbology here. Not happy that we have to pass our on color school mascot, but scoop it up. Sunrise Spirit or Introduction to Annihilation. I think this is fine. There's times last draft where we could have used this, so having access to at least one of the post board or um, one of the sideboard to learn for cool. Divine Gambit haven't played with yet in this set. I'm pretty sure it's uh, just as clunky as it was last set. You take Cody. I'm just kind of red draft it. We're not really missing much else. You can take Unwilling Ingredient. Uh, this works counter as well. Um, early game aggression. So if we do, like I said, lean more towards the aggro side, I'm down for this. Scoop it up. Confront the pass. Lesson. Turn target. Planeswalker car with mana value X. Alright, probably not. Pilgrim of the Ages. Annoying. Solid card, but we take our Allen here. Mm, yeah. Take this. If this comes around, cool. Uh, Beaming Defiance comes around, nice. And then, if not, we'll take Confront for, uh, for some gems there. Wow, uh, love it. Symbology coming around. The camp is coming around. Didn't want to be able to secure one of these at least. Well, let's take Symbology. Scoop up the Symbology. And this way, securing up our early creatures and our learn cards, we're able to uh, prioritize stuff in later packs. Study Break over Campus. Uh, I think so. Like I said, in these aggressive shells, I want I want one. In something more uh, mid rangey or you know heavy, I'll take two or three. But I don't know if I want to play more than two in the aggressive builds. Pupil over study break. Yeah, I think so. Scoop it. Prophecy's fine. You could take cram session. Yeah, I think I'm on prophecy here. Pledge Mace came around to us. Awesome sign. Unwilling Ingredient number two would be cool, but we don't pass up our three mana three one that, if we build the deck correctly, has flying and lifelink the majority of the time. Steady Break and Inkling Summoning. I think I gotta take Inkling Summoning here. Been a really good sign for us. Love it when the big podcasts put out shows saying a color is, uh, you know, the lowest rank, which it probably is. But that means it tends to be wide open on Arena. So maybe we can make that work. We'll take Zone Spirit here. Defend the campus. Haven't 
Later this, I don't think I'm going to, but we'll take it just in case. Uh, sure. Some recursion gives us planes. Last pick campus. Can't ask for much more. All right, channels negative. Star pupil. If it comes around to us, we're happy. But I think I'm on pledge mage number two here. What else? Yeah. So scoop this one up. Federal War Singer is pretty good too. Those aggressive lore hold decks. Augmenting this in any way, just getting in for any amount of damage, typically is going to bring something back, which is nice. Well, scoop this one up, and if Pupil and or uh, Ghost Mage come around, I'll be for it. Onslaught over Pledge Mage. We got Pledge Mage real late last time, so I think I'm going to take Onslaught here. Get some unconditional removal. And think keep pushing from here. Okay, the rescuer is what I get confused with uh, Pilgrim all the time, but this is the uh, the better version of it. Otherwise, we take our pet summoning, but rescuer's gonna be good. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Rise of Exodus over Spiteful Squad. Removal and learning, strong. Very strong. Four drops are non-existent. Again, I think this is has a likelihood to wheel, whereas Exodus will be played in those Witherbloom decks also. So we'll scoop up our Exile Learn. Really strong card. Guiding Voice, let's do it. Again, no creatures, which is kind of sketchy. I've played Pledge Mage in a Silver Coral deck. Fine top end, big boy, but you really want those flyers uh, to close out those games. So, guiding voice here. Mm. On the lookout for um, those lessons that give us uh, plus two, plus two, two one one counters and vigilance. Also, inkling summonings. Anything to help trigger our pledge mage. Feeling good about this deck. Gonna go strong. Back up to where we were uh, on Friday. Feeling good with this. Team Pennant has been impressive. Um, especially in decks where you don't have the campus to use that extra mana. Throwing this over to a creature um, helps it to outclass stuff. And when you have your um, summonings in the sideboard, making 2-2 two -two pests, great. Making a 3-2 flyer, wonderful. Otherwise, we take Silver Pool Campus or Environmental Sciences. Hmm. Tough one. Down for the pennant. Low cost. A bit steep to equip, but like I said, if we're not doing anything else, we're, uh, I'm down to swap this around. Alright, we'll take Rescuer number two here. Being able to buy back the Shade Wing or Pledge Mage. Should be cool. Symbology and a pinch if we need to learn again. So let's go with that. Uh, yep. Allen pick eight. Gotta love it. I don't know if people are just down on the card or if. We are really good at reading wide open campuses or colleges. Either way, we're going to take it. I'll scoop this one up. I tried fac Fractor main board once. Um, felt really dead. Felt really dead. There are some bomb enchantments that you might want to worry about. Obviously, planeswalkers, but they're so few and far between that I don't think it's correct to main board it in best of one. Okay, star pupil number two. Sign me up. Let's just secure up their ones up. Like I said, in the right seat. Love to see it. So this came back around. There's a very good possibility that Spiteful Squad came, comes around too. So, let's get those. Alright, uh, Secret Rendezvous, LOL, Professor's Warning, Cheap Instant Speed, why not? Spiteful Squad did come around, love it, we are Psychic, let's go. Slide that one over. Anyone we are drafting with that we know, let's see, let's see. Next Chicken. 
Okay, I have zero, <laughs> zero of these. So we'll take this for the board. Just in case our neighbor is on Laurel there. Could be cool if you're like trying to deck someone, maybe if you uh, have the each player draws three. You and target opponent. Humiliate, Exodus, or Squad. So I think same thing here, where these two are very likely to come around the wheel. We've seen them, uh, seen this wheel already. So I think I'm just gonna go Exodus here. How much do I want Leech? Oof. Draft is tough. One target in your deck. They are gone. You have two on the spot decisions. Yeah. Uh, where's Exodus? Scoop this one. Yeah, dude. It's it's definitely a uh, a skill set you get like used to and kind of get more comfortable as it goes along. Like, I also draft very weird too. So by no means is this like a the ideal way to dra uh, draft, but I'm very uh, very aggressive on what's going to wheel. Uh, I'm usually never questioning if I'm going to make playables either. So like. Last draft we saw I was open um, late into mid pack two, teetering between lower hold and server quill. But some people aren't as risk uh, adverse, so really depends on like your, your your level of comfort in the set. What do you think your um, what do you think is uh, like the meta too? So like I said with LR, just putting out that podcast, I got, I, I don't mind driving this. I'll do that all day. Um, people seem to be competing against the teamer wedge stuff. Like, they're great decks. We see that they do uh, beat us up pretty bad a lot of the time. But when you can get underneath them, I like it. I think we take Poet here. I don't think I want a third rise. Pest summoning. I want to get my, my two drops, so we'll secure that one up. We have three cuts as of now. Lich Fanatics, awesome. Anything I'm missing? No, so we'll scoop that. Warning's probably the weakest team pennant. I can see cutting gold, so... Okay, we already have two Allens. I want to hunt for specimen or guiding voice, number two. One, two... Only three. I'm playing both of these. I'm playing guiding voice. Do we have a... No. Creature count is at 20. That's fine. So we'll take Guiding Voice here. Expanded Anatomy as well. I was talking about Trickster's going real late too. Like we saw last draft and here, you know, pick six Trickster. That really shouldn't be happening, but I'm okay with it. Get knock and ask questions when it's in our favor. Inkling Summoning. Love it. Love to see it. So deck's coming along smashingly. I wouldn't be surprised if Alan is our last pick. So let's take uh, our three drop here. Humiliate and Spiteful Squad came around like we said. The question is, are we going to play two of these? With double star pupil, I think it makes sense. Tough call. That's dope. Beam depends for the board. We take dueling coach. I don't think we're gonna play it, but just in case. ETB's for one more counter. Maybe. That's a lot though. Like a lot to invest. Well, we'll cut it. Three rise of Exodus. Sure. Count me in, count me in. So double guiding boys is fine. I don't think we're gonna be a pennant deck. Uh, Professor's warning is one of our weaker spells, so I don't mind throwing that away. Uh, spirit, as cool as it is, thinks you're going to be one of our weaker creatures. None of these are going to matter, so let's take Make the Mark. Make your mark. Creature we said we're at 22, so we're going to have to cut some of those. Yep. Again, probably dueling, coach, probably elocution. I like four here. I don't think I'm running triple rise. Pilgrim seems weak. Give us something to do with our mana like later on in the game, but with two rescuers, um, we're gonna be able to buy these back, so I think we're gonna have enough to do. 
Like I said, wouldn't be surprised if Allen's come around to us super late. Scoop that up. Wow. Again, I hope my person over here is on Prismari. They get paid off for that last pack. And then Bloody General. Alright. Cool. So take two at our Silver Quill. Nonsense. No splashes time. Just straight up black, white. Three cuts to make. I think we're at 21 creatures, so probably just three of our weakest creatures. And go from there. Really ingredient as cool as it is, I think it's going to be one of our weaker creatures. Um, I like our two drop suite. If we count this as a four drop, that looks fine. It's probably right to cut a five drop. They're just so strong. We go down a star pupil. If we go down one, do we get on both? I think so. 18, so we have two, four. Okay, four learn cards, or six learn cards. Double Inkling Summoning, Annihilation, Prophecy, Expanded Anatomy. Alright. Looks sweet. Looks sweet. Let's leave this one up and run it. Gotta throw your opponents off. Uh, let's go with the shark sleeves. Don't ask what sharks have to do with silver quill. Let's run this one. You appreciate everyone hanging out, spending your Sunday afternoon drafting with me. Really appreciate it. Could be doing a bunch of other things, but you chose to hang out, and for that, I salute you. We go for Symbology on two, Pledge Mage on three, Guiding Voice into a life-linking flying beast man. Let's do it. Salu, Salu with the hydration. As we learned, you must stay hydrated. This game is full of salty moments, and if you're not well hydrated, will not end well for you. Then we grab our first summoning. I'm just gonna go Plage Mage here so that I can um, Inkling Summoning next turn to get flying. Alright, Sketch Ball McGee, Sketch Ball McGee. Um, could be Whirlwind Denial, could be a bunch of things, so I think we lead on this, see what's up. Could be Buried in Books. Okay, so maybe just like a reject or something. We'll see. Pop quiz, that's more than fine. Oh, hello. So once I get the seven mana, we are going to have a lot of things to uh, beat down. Um, double green, double blue. What will you do? What in the nonsense? Maybe cast your first copy of spell. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Double the number of that is strong. That is very strong. All right. So what we can do here is guiding voice into another inkling summoning. I think I like that. I, I don't want to run into reject. Is my big thing here. So. To deck with symbology. Okay, down to 12, up to 13. This 
same thing. Um, could be a buried in book situation. Could be a could be a bunch of things. Could be the fight spells. If we go professor, we can grab. Expanded anatomy, maybe that leaves us wide open to. Leaves us wide open to a buried in books. Yeah, so we saw the reject. Then we got annihilation here, so we need for four. This are up to 10. Yep, there's the buried in books, like you said. That's fine. Okay, six. Will our opponent play something this turn? They do. Very cool. I guess we can get this out the way now. Smack in for six. Or we just drop Allen, get in for two, which is really like one. Following turn, exile the flyer, get in for three, five, nine. Yeah. Yep. So they go mascot here. Yep, yep. Can't do both. Maybe we should get them down to one. Yeah. <laughs> get them down to two. Seven, nine. Back up to three. What you got opponent? You can double that for six. You got five, five, nine, twelve, potentially eight. So it'd be swinging for twenty if you tap out and pump your uh, your elite guy. Things go chump chump and see what's up. Double the number of counters on it. So it goes, right, gets three, which is six. I think I'm fine with just doing this. That's annoying. Interesting. You have the fight spell? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Never straightforward for us. Alright, so we can do this. Swing in for three. We can drop this. And learn. What I want out of my learn. How does that look like? Am I dead? Uh, four, nine, twelve, death touch. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we can Guiding Voice so that when this dies, it goes over anyways. Uh, that's all. It's up to four. Need another creature to reach. Are they going to learn for something? Hot tech, by the way. Overgrown Arch does not need to tap to sac to learn. It just needs to tap to gain life. So... When you are going to sacrifice it, be sure to tap it first and then sacrifice it. Learned that one yesterday. So, technically have them dead in the air. Gonna have to block the 6-6. Six, six. That's a lot of damage coming through. Alright, beautiful. So, barring... Learn... Sorcery Speed, Exile... No, because even that, I throw the counter on Allen. Yeah, I think, we're, I think we're good. Yeah. We block, throw the counters on Allen. This is why they target it, they have to take three. Nothing in hand, perfect information. So they sack this, do that. And if they get the introduction to Annihilation, they have to take three to kill this. Nice. Alright, GG. Let's go. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, this is my style of deck, man. Tempo-y. Get in, hit hard, get evasive. Love to do it. Let's go, James. Love it, man. How's uh, how's historic been? I know last time I popped in, uh, you were toying around with the with the super jank in uh, in high diamond. How's it how's it been uh, the last couple of days? Okay, Billy posters. Seems interesting. I think I'm down to go Shalai. This is cool. We can rebuy this with our um, with our five drop. That's a nice combo. Really cool. Lead on white here. No reject. No reject. No reject. Let's go. Probably gonna heated debated or something. Teamer, gotta love it. Uh, okay. So we play Silver Crow Pledge Mage first, and then, and then attack in. Get that flyer out the air. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let me just drop squad and pass. So do it like this. They're ramping to six this turn if they make their land drop. <clears throat> what in the name of Silver Quill Nonsense is going on? This is ETB Spirit X. That's that's great, sure. Again. Don't think I'm worried about. That. Land and Pledge Mage. If it gets rejected, that's fine. So potentially, we have 8 damage coming in next turn. Get off the Inkling Summonings. These two flying. I'm playing with the Angel deck. Off stream, trying to rank up. Yeah, awesome, man. Because <clears throat> I, I really like watching those decks. That Shrine deck was sweet. Angel deck seems like it has a lot of uh, a lot of legs too. 
our boy Hiliad putting in work. They can have buried in books up. Which is fine, we can symbology to learn or disrupt leech. I think we're gonna learn. Goodbye, Pledge Mage. You lived a good life. So if they do have a big uh big creature at reach. <clears throat> wow, that's uh that's pretty cool. We get him for two here. Let's see what they do. Oh, that's gonna be a dirty combo if they do that. Bounce some stuff. Oh, hello, electrolyze. That hurts. Sure. And then one to my face. Yep. Cool. Cool. I'll take this. Really strong. So we would have got super blown out if we play these uh like that. So let's just go Pledge Mage and Leech Fanatic. Angel of Destiny on the battlefield. He literally just pumps the Angel of Destiny. One will counter, opponent dies. <laughs> good times, good times. Why? Why does opponents... Why do they just steal my stuff? You bastards. Um, let's see. I can't rise yet. I can go Pledge Mage and pass. Gotta turn the corner here. Opponent is doing exactly that. 4-4 four, four reach. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Hopefully no instant of sorcerers in hand. Um, no. Why'd I hit lifelink? That wasn't the play. Uh, oops. Definitely meant flying there. Ouch. Hope that doesn't go back to cost us. I did the same thing uh, Wednesday, where misclick. I wanted to keep a keep my first mulligan. Uh, instead of hitting keep six, I hit mulligan again for some strange reason, and uh, promptly lost the game following that. Have to, have to, have to be aware of instant speed stuff giving their pledge mates flying. This is sketch. So like I said, I'm assuming, I'm assuming they trade off the Pledge Mage now. Let's see. Pretty sure they're going to play some instant speed nonsense, give it flying, yada yada. Yes. Yep. Not the worst, though. Not the worst. So they're copying it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. They learn twice. I'm not aware of too much crazy instant speed uh, learn stuff they can be grabbing, so I think I'm fine with this. Fractal summoning means nothing to me. Again, those mean nothing to me. Yep, drop this. Hope it doesn't get rejected. They have a pause. Okay, good. So if they tap out, uh, we get them down to one. Oh, they can copy that. That's gonna be filthy. Jesus. Never run out of gas, opponents. Never run out of gas. Golly. Yep. 
Yes, I'm fine. A thousand percent of this trade. You gain three. I do that. Interesting. How do I do this? I think I just go Alvin here. I get hit for f five. I get for four. They copy this. The following turn, I can drop. Hopefully, this and this if we rip land off the top right i'm not blocking this turn with this since i needed to block a big fractal all right they tap out bounce this copy it so they have two of those on the ground we're down to 11 we can play this and chump block put two counters on this so it's on an eight. Oh, man. So down to eight anyways, this is fine. We go squad into Shade Wing Lariat. This is five damage to any target or Oh wow, ouch. That's strong. So we're down to four. These guys stabilized hard. Okay, so we didn't hit the mana that we needed. Um, I guess we go Shade Wing into Expanding Anatomy. This way we can block. Uh, gotta do it like this. And then the removal number 36. GG. One issue with these, uh, with the more aggressive builds that you do get owned uh, when these games start going late. That's a sweet deck by opponent, though. Um, a lot of interaction here. Divided by zero. Being able to copy with the the artist here. Big plays on our opponent. Like, real big plays. Uh, anything we could have done there differently. No, I like the aggressive line of trading this off early with the Depth Touch guy. Our whole game plan is based around winning in the air. Um, yeah, key key rift from opponent stealing our stealing our uh, pledge mage. Um, definitely punted by not giving the creature flying that one turn. Doesn't change much. We get them down to five instead of eight. Yeah. So just things to be worried about is clicking, 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 clicking. All right, here we go again. Here we go again. Let's do it. Keep seven. We'll go poet onto. Really got to draw some mana here. Uh, do we have signs in the board? No. We can enter a prophecy, but no. Save this for our pledge mage. Prophecy's three mana, anyways, right? Yeah. So we're not able to cast anything here. Opponent listen, they're stuck on land too. Happy with that. Never above winning games due to flood. Hopefully they drew the land so we can play something, but if not, it's fine. Sketch ball McGee over here. Um sure. I don't know what's going on, nor do I want to. Again, we don't question stuff, folks. We we take our W's in any shape, form, or fashion they come in. RP opponent. 
couldn't get there with the lands. <laughs> Soundboard. Ah, so fun. Death by triggers. Okay. True to fairy fashion. Here, turn two, turn three. Able to buy back anything with our filler drop rescuer. Let's do it. Ooh, we will be aggressive. Play all of our two drops. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Love to see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Regardless of who it is, someone needs to get mana screwed. Um, preferably not us. I really want to spend the time not affecting the board. I'm okay with this field trip. Not the worst. I'm going to grab a, a fractal or something. Prophecy. Sounds cool. Um, I guess we have symbology learn. Is there anything we can do for two mana out the learn? Don't think so, but they're all tapped out, so this shouldn't really matter. We're going to go Inkling Summoning next turn uh, into Guiding Voice because we don't have anything to get back with our Rescuer. I'm going to play Inkling Summoning first so that if they do kill the Shade Wing, we can grow our Inkling Summoning. Yep. Okay, so no real choices here. I can put the counter on Leech Fanatic so it can trade off for these two. I, I must have that changed everything. I think the ground is where we want to worry about. We can put a counter on. Let's do it like this. Let's guess it out of any, uh, most fight spells, I guess Dual Mage does give them plus one, plus two. Well, like I said, I don't mind that because then we get a buy back. Kelpie Guide at seven mana, sure. Again, really don't care about that. Yeah, ground creatures aren't going to do me much unless we want to block fractals later. 2-4, that's fine. Nexus instant speed, I think I want to hit Kelpie Guide here, so swing it for 5. So enter to Annihilation. <clears throat> Any big reach creature will give them the extra card. Alright, opponent. Keep going with the ground creatures. I believe in you. 100% believe in you. Flood the board. Make a 12 12 fractal. Full formation. Go ahead and do it. I was just kidding. Gosh, you didn't really have to make a 25-25. Oh, man. We lose to Snow Day, so I, I, have to, I have to kill this thing. It's stupid, but I think we have to kill it. Um, still no blocks. Yeah. That's fine. It hurts to do that, but we we just lose the snow day, so that's okay. Here I think I'm gonna block and then next turn we can drop uh drop Allen to kinda sure up. Field trip, sure. 
They have the five mana here, so they can grab. Yeah. Exiling's gonna not be great for our rescuer, but not the worst. Sure. One, two, three, four. So we have six here. If I get another man, I can replay it. I think I'm down to block just one for now. Yeah. See what opponent wants to do. Like I said, they can have snow day, they can tap down our things, which is cool. They discard, draw some cards. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it pushing here. Silver Coil putting it work just like we like it. Double G's. GG's, GG's. So, uh, so I ended up making the uh, making the favorites with the uh, with the soundboard. Close this. Uh oh, spoke too soon. There we go. Seems to be working alright. Can easily look over and find find whatever I'm uh, whatever I'm trying to find. It's over nine thousand. That one's that one's specifically for you, I'm fresh. Over nine thousand. Let's keep. Can go symbology uh, into inkling summoning. Classic play. Okay, Wither Bloom sounds cool. Pest summoning. That's annoying. Like these don't really block the greatest. I think I'm down to race. No block. Interesting. So, if I drop this, the following turn, put one counter on another creature, then deals two damage. Every creature with one counter dies. Drop. Could you go to Dean next turn? I think this is fine. No attacks for now. Gotta say hello to our opponent. It's cool if they take um, if they take the owl. It's real nice. We can buy it back with our five drops. Yep. Sounds cool. No blocks. And I quote, so race me then. I lied, so not race me then. I mean Three cards left in hand, they have an Inkling summoning, that's fine. We smack up for four since we're not blocking and then drop our Spiteful Squad. I think that's fine. Opponent hasn't played anything like real creatures yet. So I think I'm okay with this. The question is, what will they do? No. Minus three, minus one, gain two. I mean, they're gaining a ton of life. They are gaining a ton of life here. We drop Allen. Can kill a giant fractal. Try to stabilize. Not the scariest thing. Dina, wow, that's cool. Is Dina more scary? I think I gotta kill the fractal. 
How do we want to learn? We get another Inkling summoning, we get Annihilation. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we can Guiding Voice on Symbology so that it blocks. Gain one, drain one. I don't even think that <clears throat> we need to attack in with that. Just keep those back. Drop poet and pass. <clears throat> so they take care of spiteful squad eventually. That's cool. Um, we can shift all of our counters over. <clears throat> now we block at least pretty well. Seven turn clock? Question mark. Let's see. Not playing anything is very sketchy. I think do the same thing here. That's a pretty sick combo. <clears throat> pretty sick combo, opponent. Down to 10, down to 17. Straight up draw three and green. You gotta love it. So I think they just dropped England something here. <clears throat> Not too sure, yeah. Uh, no need to pay the two. So, they have all the cards in the world in their hand. Um, Crux of Fate destroys us. Um, so, hopefully they don't have it. Big Inkling Summoning does nothing. Or big um, Fractal Summoning, whatever it is. They want to target it. This is great. Hunt's fine. Learn... Even better, sure. <clears throat> Menace, yep, yep. Arrogant Poet, that's fine. They're gonna need something big here. Um... Can I die on the crackback? They play that for Dean. I think I just killed Dina. Right. Three, five. I have a chump blocker here. Six, eight, so they can't do that. <clears throat> I think Dean is how I would lose the game. They do something crazy with her. Right, they can have removal for Spice Squad, play their big fractal swing in. Make sure the prophecy's fine. Bottom two, love to see it. Let's go! Let's go. Cool, cool. So up to four right now. Keep it pushing. GG. GG, man. Let's check out.
Get the air horns out. Let's go. Okay. Sirucha. Sir. Sirucha. I can't read. One day I'll learn. Well, I mean, opponent goes first. We have cards to play. Let's do it. Always hitting our land. Love to see it. Well, I'm down for symbology here. Do this, grab an inkling summoning. If they want to blow this up, sure. Inkling summoning. Where do I go? Pledge mage. I think pledge mage. What will our opponent do? Do da do da. What will our opponent do? They will pass the turn. Ouch. Uh, yeah, I guess we do this. Get lifelink. Smack him for five. I guess I could play Swamp there first to hold up planes to learn. We want to be like super mana efficient. But this is looking tough for opponent. Yeah. I don't know if they're just like people are playing less lands than they should or if they're getting very unlucky with a explosive welcome. I think if you're playing this card, you know, one, I don't know if it should be in lore hold. I guess if you're more controlly graveyard style deck but uh, with an 8 drop I'm very hesitant to play under 17 I don't know could you be string of bad luck but I'll take it man I will take it going on to 5 wins let's go <laughs> will we ever find out what happened to their mana <laughs> the world may never know <laughs> oh buddy alright uh, sure let's keep Symbology on two. <laughs> Another Prismari deck. Here I don't care if this is counter since we have our uh, rescue in hand. Yep, that's fine. Opponent with the Flash Frog. Do they have it? No Flash Frog. So draw or s okay. More than fine. Little do they know. Pledge Mage is cool. If they want to trade off, we'll take it. I highly doubt it. Drop our Allen. Pass like that. Now we don't attack in since they're probably gonna hold up like buried in bush. I'm stupid. Let's do this if they want to target it. Okay, so nothing there. I th think I'm down to play spiteful squad and pass. So maybe they didn't have any plays. Like that was a real quick pass. Yeah. All right, aggression. Let's go. Keep her pushing, keep her pushing. <laughs> oh man, the mystery of the missing mana. Gosh. You are not prepared. Dudes were not prepared, man. Dudes are not prepared. <laughs> Oh, buddy. That's good. Nice, wholesome humor here at the Sultan channel. Appreciate everyone hanging out. Appreciate everyone hanging out. Sunday is for the MTG. Learning and lessons. Oh, come here, Charger. Opponent goes first. Guiding voice. This is a slow hand. I don't like... I don't like this. I think we're going to do our first move for the day. Much better. 
keep, we can put back, uh, probably Leech. Yeah. Symbology, grab our Inkling Summoning. Love that play pattern. Okay. No more 5 drops would be sweet. If that's what the deck wants to do for us though. Again, who are we to question what the deck does? Relic Golem's fine. We can... Drop something here. Uh, this could be cool. Yep. Interesting. No blocks. Becomes a large thing in the field. I think I'm down for this. We can't pump anything yet. Hmm. I think just as a 4 4, that's going to be good. Let's see what they want to do here. Guiding voice, double trigger, sure, sure. Expanded anatomy. Ooh, they're gonna combo the heck out of us. So they make that a 4 4. That'll be attacking with this, sure. No blocks. This is, uh, this is nice. I like what they're doing here. I think we do this. They're gonna expand an anatomy on this, grow both of these. See if we can try to try to stabilize out of this. That's huge plays. Anatomy. Reflective goal, man. Putting some work for opponent here. Yep. Resolves. Yep. Resolves. Yep. Six. Block, block, and then I can pump this. Yeah. See how opponent does this. They can smack him for six. It's gonna hurt. I'm sure they have other things in their hand too. Yep. So you can give reflective golem flying. Nice, nice combos, opponent. I go down to one. Uh, I play this, then we get to that. Do I have a way to block here? Hmm. Uh, it puts a woman on the counter and then does that. I don't think I can take this. Hopefully they just attack him like, like one, do something weird. <laughs> They're reading it to make sure that the counters don't go on it, and then it dies. Yeah. If they attack him with one, it's a great, great, great thing for us. Next turn, we'll be able to uh, block trade off.
That sucks. Uh, we're gonna lose in the air. Ouch. Six, seven, yeah. Unless we go Symbology... Uh, I think we're dead here, folks. Well, we blocked the six. If they get flying again, it's gonna be tough. If they kill, if they just kill this, I think we're dead, anyways. So let's see. If it's a straight up fight spell, I'm fine with it. I think we'll be fine. Gotta be able to stabilize here. So hopefully no more uh, cheeky tricks and stuff. Ouch. Yeah, that's game. All right. The copy it gets lifelink. Oof. Well, they can't give it flying though, which is nice. It's an eight powered creature. So I had to chump block. No, 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 no. No good. So we block there. Um, this goes to a. A five. We put the counters on. I guess. Dean. The professor. That's ah, rough. All right, so we can Annihilation. Um, we may not be dead. We may not be dead. Here, I have to go Annihilation to kill this. They draw a card. I swing in for nine. I think this is the way we have to do it. I think if they go flying there, they win. Um, yeah, they probably win that game if they just give their creatures flying and attack with everything. Here, hopefully we can stabilize. They have to have something in their hand. Oh, nice. Hello. Yep. So they can make this a 3-4. Uh, at that point, it kills most of our stuff, so I think I... Do I want to kill this or do I want to kill the flyer? I think the flyer is honestly going to be more relevant. The, it giving this flying? Yeah, so I think... So just gotta keep our fingers crossed here. Land pass, land pass, baby, land pass. Access tunnel. Uh, three or less. Okay. All right. Not the worst. Not the worst. Stop with the fight spells. You have one card left in your hand. It cannot be that much gas. You stop this right now, man. You stop this right now. Yep, I got a block. That's strange. Strange, strange, strange. They get us on a clock with... If I go with three, three, I can go two, five into a two drop. 
Double block there, take one. I think I do this, right? Um... If I go Pledge Mage, I can't. I, I, I play Pledge Mage in that. Yep. to Inkling Summoning gains us some life here. Um, so it'll gain us three life, it trades off with... How oh, do I not mess this one up? I can double block there. Do I want to wait and see if they get... Oh, I can buy this back. Let's do that. down. Come on, deck. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right, we gotta attack all. I'm not worried about flash or anything crazy. Yep. Draw a card. No. Come on, spells. I need some spells, man. Yeah, that works. Uh, I think I have to do this, right? Three, five, nine. This is just tap three, so maybe I leave this back. First year, sure. Yeah. Yep. No, 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 fight. Stop with the fights. Let me live my life link. Let me live my life link dream. The comeback. No. That's fine. Sorcery speed learn. Um, they make this unblockable and then I lose. So I have to I have to exile this. That's wild. Uh, is there yeah, I can get prophecy, I think. I think I do this. Uh Dead to pumps anyways. Uh, 
Oh, if I get anatomy there, two, four, six. No, it's only two. This was close. This was close. Uh, if we go, I think we're just dead, right? There's no way we, we don't have any lifelink in our deck, do we? Guiding boys, leech fanatic doesn't do it. This is a hell of a game. I don't think anything does it for us. Yeah, it's a little too late. Ah, oh, so close! So close! <laughs> Damn, dude. That was a good game, too. It hurt, it hurt. They were smacking us up. I think they could have won the game a lot sooner if they attack him with flyers but arena ready to step real quick damn you opponents damn you it's all right though all right so we're a mono black deck right now um i need a white mana to turn on the deck i think that's fine we have our two drop and arrogant poet Nice. Ouch. Okay. So, four draws, no white mana. That's fine. We're okay. We're okay. Down a block here. One of them. Lights crap. That's... This is not what we want to see. Not what we want to see at all. Okay. Yep. Show me a white mana deck. I believe in you. I believe in you. This is tough too, because you just plus one, plus one. Um, so we get really owned. Yeah. Oof. Oof, oof. Super aggressive. Opponents shouldn't care about burning removal on this. They're at 20 life. So if they have two pump spells, that's fine. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ouch. And what hurts the most is being so close. Uh, so 3-3 three, three double strike kills us, right? And... Whatever they put it on, does, does that kill us, right? They put it here. This gets plus two, and that's four. So they win. They win, right? They get plus two, plus two here. It's a five. If we don't kill anything, if we do... Yeah, we lose. <laughs> why, Dick? Why? Again, it's on opponent to not mess this one up. If they... I mean, they can't mess it up. Whatever they do, they're going to be able to... Oh no, well, we, we got an extra turn. It's not triple there. Yet, oh, uh, there it is. There it is. There it is. We'll let him hit for the win. <laughs> oh, why, deck? Why? We're not fine, guys. I just wouldn't understand. Damn you. It's so close. I don't mind. Those are cool decks. The, the Relic Golem stuff was awesome. Being able to find that, uh, like, the little combo there was super scary coming from an opponent. And um, Lore Hole gets a lot of bad rep for being, like, a, one of the worst campuses, colleges. And that deck was sweet. Like, that's a really good uh, good curve from an opponent. I mean, they had their rare two drop uh, that they probably build the deck around in their hand. So we tip our hat to them. Oh, man. Solid stuff, though. Solid stuff for sure.